Welcome to part five of my fitness and fat loss series for women over 40, the holiday edition. This is the the final tip I'm going to share with you about getting on track and feeling good as we go into the end of the year. One of the biggest things, and you've probably heard this before from not only me, but across many, many industries, is that in order to get the results that you want, in order to feel better, in order to look your best in order for fat loss to happen is to stick with one thing until success. This is the paramount thing to be consistent, right? Because if you go full tilt from September to October, and then you get busy and you fall off and then it kicks you a month and you're like, oh my God, Christmas is around the corner. And then you get back on track in November for three weeks. And then all the holiday stuff starts coming, right? Then you're like, oh, I can't do this now. That lack of consistency throws you off more than you think. Not only from an actual practice perspective that you're not able to find a habit and keep it in place to get the results that you want, whether it's fat loss, whether it's fitness, whether it's nutrition, but in fact, it really messes with your mindset. The lack of consistency makes you think you're doing the thing, right? It's a falsified narrative because you think you're doing the thing that's doing going to give you the results because you did. You did it for three weeks and you worked really hard and you cut out carbs for three weeks and you worked out every day for three weeks, but then you completely stopped, right? It's almost like that old adage of like, you can't out-train a bad diet. It's about the consistency in all aspects, proper sleep, good hydration, getting your steps in, moving your body, getting the resistance training in, doing the nutrition, all the things that will line up to get you the results that you want. Oftentimes people ask me, Catherine, how do you stay, you know, for lack of better words, bikini ready or lean throughout all the seasons? It's because I'm consistent. It's because I have these non-negotiables. It's because I've worked on my mindset and my practice to not self-sabotage at every other turn or when life happens. Because guess what? Life will consistently happen. So I really encourage you to think about how can you be consistent? How can you find non-negotiable practices in your movement? Whether it's only weightlifting two, three times a week for 15, 20 minutes, better than nothing. Whether it is getting your steps in, whether it's making sure in your nutrition, you're prepping and planning for success. Whether it is that you're using adjuncts like food delivery services or literally buying a roasted chicken once a week and already pre-made salad so that it's easy for you to meal prep and plan making sure that you're getting hydration in, making sure that you're getting your sleep because especially women over the ages of 35 going into our 40s and 50s and our 60s, going through perimenopause and menopause, sleep is so important. Making sure that you're managing these things that become stressors in your life consistently is game changing. This isn't a long episode for you, but I want you to think about how are you inconsistent in your life and how can you welcome in this consistency? And like I said, in part one and part two, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Actually looking at week after week, what can you put in place for your nutrition? What can you put in place for your fitness? What can you put in place from a mindset perspective will really set yourself up for success as we finish the year and step into the new one. I hope this this short five-part series really supported you to think about and be in action with the things that matter if you're looking to feel better, look better, lose and release body fat, and really set yourself on a trajectory of feeling your most confident, most vibrant self stepping into the new year. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Catherine Tanaka. Make sure you tune in to the new episodes that are coming out in the new years and follow me on Instagram at katherinetanaka.fit. Bye for now.